it could be said that the St. Louis Archbishops smelled blood in the water a couple of weeks ago as they competed in the semi-final round of the 2014 U.S. Chess League playoff. There were no draw odds in this occasion. In fact, if the match went 2-2, two to two, the tie-break gauntlet would be enacted. That's exactly what happened. St. Louis was successful on the first two boards, as Wesley So defeated Julio Becerra and Kwong Lim defeated Renier Gonzalez. So far the lineup that we have now for the playoffs is what is working, but um, we also have reserve grandmasters like Jim Ben Feingold, who is always here giving moral support, thank you very much, and also Var Varosa Nakobian, who is always uh, there just in case we, we need him. But yeah, Spence, Spencer Feingold and Matt Larson are great players, they are um, masters of their own kind, and I'd say that Matt Larson is kind of underrated right now, so it's a good thing for the team just to make it to the average rating. St. Louis couldn't clinch on the bottom two boards as boards three and four, Matt Larson and Spencer Feingold, respectively lost to national masters Federico Gonzalez and Carlos Gaston Andretta. Yeah, I think I made a, a, a mistake early and then he had a lot of pressure and I don't know, I never figured out how to uh, equalize and diffuse the pressure and just went downhill from there. The format for the tiebreaker was a gauntlet style elimination. One blitz game at a time, starting with both teams board four players. I don't know if the format's really, really fair to, but I think it benefits our team with our very strong players, so I can't complain. The Sharks board four player, Carlos Andretta, proved very difficult for the St. Louis team at first. He checkmated Spencer Feingold and then had an excellent performance against Matthew Larson. St. Louis only had two players left to the Sharks four. Kwong Lim stepped up to the plate and showed why he is a grandmaster. Kwong Lim defeated Carlos Andretta, rendering the score back closer two to three. Kwong Lim evened the score after defeating Federico Gonzalez. Now, only the top two board players from both teams remained. Kwong Lim took white against the Miami Sharks' Renier Gonzalez. With a draw, both players are eliminated. And so, Wesley So of St. Louis took black against Grandmaster Julio Becerra of the Sharks, board one versus board one. Wesley So got the victory the sole survivor to get us through to the final round where we meet the Dallas destiny. And when we meet Dallas, St. Louis will use a slightly modified version of their playoff roster that has been so successful. Board one will still be Grandmaster Wesley So. Board two, Grandmaster Verusia Nakobian. National Masters Matthew Larson and Spencer Feingold will round out the field on boards three and four. Their opponents on the Dallas destiny are captained by Grandmaster Conrad Holt on board number one. Boards two through four include International Master Jeffrey Zhang and National Masters Francisco Guadalupe II and Karthik Ramachandran. Be sure to catch the games on the Internet Chess Club. The action begins at 7.20 p.m. Central Time. The Archbishop's own Ben Feingold and Jacob Wilkins will have the call as we stream commentary live here from the St. Louis Chess Club at stlouischessclub.org.